excitement enveloping everyone here because it is a huge occasion. The Champions League final. Who's going to be crowned Club Kings of Europe? It's Liverpool. They face Arsenal live right here on EA TV. Well, there's nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crown. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by Stuart Robson. It is Liverpool up against Arsenal. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. And pull back. Arsenal recover and a chance Odegaard can he find the net looked like a certain goal but that's a great challenge let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11 Alisson begins in goal Trent Alexander-Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas and the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition and so the starting 11 for Arsenal Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage And there the move ends for now. Salah. Elliot. And on to Alexander Arnold. Opportunity to deliver the cross. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. He's in control of the situation. Trossard. Rice. Oh, sloppy passing. Mo Salah. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Elliot. Now Mo Salah. Jack Paul. Well, they keep the ball moving. Seemed to switch off for a moment. And now a throw in. Gabriel. And here's Saliba. Kai Havertz. Tommy Yasu. Now with Havertz. Rice chance to play it in well it did look promising but no threat in the end Wataru Endo that's a good Liverpool move in the making McAllister, he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Party. Ben White. William Saliba. Rice with it. Party. Martin Odegaard. Bukayo Saka oh this is looking promising good defending in the end and danger averted for now and the referee's whistle that will conclude the first half here at Wembley and as the second half commences 
Both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Went in strongly, decisively. That's useful play. But the danger averted for now. Luis Diaz. Elliot. Van Dyke with it. Alexander Arnold. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build up. Well, this won't hurt the Liverpool cause. Corner awarded as they attempt to notch in front. Playing it in, read it well, cleared it well. Alexander Arnold. Oh, an incredible clearance. I must say, I didn't see that coming. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Who can he pick out? Pulls it back. Must take the lead here. Textbook defending inside the box. Tomiyasu. It's with Gabriel. Martinelli. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Incisive pass. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Virgil van Dijk. Elliot. Van Dijk with it. Has the strength to hang on to it. McAllister. Here's Robertson. Over the touchline for what will be an Arsenal throw. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Thomas Partey. Ben White. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can they take the lead here? And tipping it over the crossbar. An Arsenal corner. Playing it short. And using his strength to shield the ball. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus! Oh, did so well to deny him. Alexis McAllister. Well, I thought that was the game, Derek. But what a fantastic stop by Alisson. He's kept his team in it there. So, Bosloy. Five minutes to go. And forward go, Arsenal. Do they have a late winning goal in their future? Rice. Martinelli. Timely intervention. 
Now counter-attacking possibilities. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Nicely cut out. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength-sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. Nicely timed tackle. Luis Diaz. Encouraging move from Liverpool. You can almost see their opponents racking their brains. How do we stop this? Went in strongly to win the ball. Jorginho. Plenty of support here. Jorginho. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Diogo Jota. Alexis McAllister. Luis Diaz. Could cross it in here. Can he put them in front? And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? Diaz, he read the situation defensively and did his job. Gabriel Martinelli. Tomiyasu. Farsi. It's with Takahiro Tomiyasu. Arsenal have given it away. Grafenberg. Endo. Arsenal have it back. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. So Bosloy. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And it has all come down to this in the Champions League final. A shootout to determine the winners. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, he had to score, and he does. Well, it's all about keeping a cool head. And there it is, perfectly executed. Clinical, as always, in front of goal. Can he remain calm? 
And he succeeds in finding the bottom corner. And he's denied them from the spot. In it goes. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. Job done from the spot. Oh, he saved it! Oh, a superb save. It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. And there it is! That brings it to a conclusion and a contrast in emotions. One team joyful, the other absolutely devastated. Well, what drama, what scenes, and what a good finish to this game. It really has been exhilarating. Well, in football, you don't forget these moments in a hurry. Due reward for their persistence and their overall excellence. Well, it really has been engrossing today. Such a tight game, but you have to feel sorry for the losers. They were so close, but yet so far away. And the party mood has enveloped the stadium. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Arsenal, the winners of the UEFA Champions League. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. 